This is a demonstration of a dorsal wrist orthosis from Orphilite Black NS 3.2mm thickness with an Orphi tube outrigger. Draw the patient's hand on a paper towel and make a pattern of the orthosis, which is then traced onto the thermoplastic material. Cut out the orthosis and place it back into the hot water to completely soften. Remove the orthosis from the water bath and dry briefly to remove the excess hot water. Position the orthosis on the dorsum of the patient's hand from the MCP joints to the forearm. Stretch the tiny tab into the first web space, making sure it's proximal to the distal palmar crease. Remove the orthosis from the patient for trimming. Round all corners and apply straps to the orthosis at distally, proximally and in the centre. Check the fit and comfort of the orthosis on the patient. The orthosis should support the wrist in extension while allowing full finger flexion. An out trigger using the Orphi tube will be added to the orthosis to support one finger in MCP extension. The Orphi tube adjuster will be placed on the orthosis aligning with the metacarpal bone. The Orphi tube fits in this adjuster. Mark the orthosis for correct placement of the adjuster. Remove the orthosis from the patient. Carefully scrape off the coating. Heat both the Orphi tube adjuster and the orthosis briefly with dry heat. Place the Orphi tube adjuster firmly in place on the orthosis and ensure that the proximal tab is angled upwards. Heat the orthosis underneath the Orphi tube's distal ring so that it also stays in place. The Orphi tube can be shortened to the appropriate length by scoring with scissors and breaking cleanly at the mark. Bending the Orphi tube does not require heating. To bend the Orphi tube, insert the orange nylon rod. Place in the Orphi tube bending tool aligning with the notches. The tube will bend at the level of the large circle in the middle of the tool. Hold down firmly with the thumbs on each side and bend inward to an angle of about 70 to 90 degrees. Remove the orange nylon rod and reinsert for the second bend back to parallel. Place the Orphi tube in the Orphi tube adjuster on the orthosis and secure with the Allen wrench. Using the Allen wrench, position the finger so that the Orphi tube is at a 90 degree angle to the proximal phalanx. Mark the Orphi tube for trimming. Remove the Orphi tube to trim. Carefully score the Orphi tube with scissors and break cleanly at this mark. You can use pliers to do this if needed. Place the Orphi tube end cap on the cut end of the Orphi tube. Place the Orphi tube into the adjuster. Tighten the screw and check the alignment. Orphi cast will be used to make the finger cuff. Cut a piece of Orphi cast about 3 inches long. Heat up the Orphicast in the splint pan to activate. Remove and dry briefly. Fold into half lengthwise. Place the Orphicast underneath the proximal phalanx. Pinch together on top to form a ring which will be trimmed into a cuff. Prepare two lengths of elastic thread. Using Orphicast scraps, dry heat and cover a tied knot at one end of the elastic thread.
trim the Orficast and the elastic thread. Trim the finger cuff, rounding the edges. Attach the elastic threads to the finger cuff by dry heating each briefly and bonding together. Trim the elastic threads and thread through the Orphi tube. Tie a knot in the elastic threads so they don't slip back through the Orphi tube. Cut another short piece of elastic thread and fold it in half. Form a slip knot over the elastic threads. This creates the tension necessary to support the finger in extension. The patient is allowed to flex the finger and the orthosis assists in dynamic finger extension.